started as a dream team freedom we done started in the basement whipping up a record giving genesis a basement hey guys so i know i look crazy and i only have eyebrows on but I was just inspired by one of Marlena's recent videos that I just watched. So today in this video, we're gonna talk a little. I feel like it's an important topic to talk about. I don't usually like getting into like drama, but I think this is a good and important topic to talk about. So in this video, I'm gonna use three Makeup Geek shadows. I'm gonna do like a purpley look. I'm gonna use Backlight, Pop Culture, and Phantom. So I'm gonna start by priming my eyes using this Wet n Wild concealer. So Marlena recently, I'm not even sure how long ago, but I just seen it pop up on my feed. She posted this video basically talking about things going on in the beauty community and how they should change and just giving her input about her experiences, not bringing up names, not bashing anybody. She basically said that some influencers are trying to charge up to, if not more than $60,000 for just a post or like a video. And I think that's pretty insane, especially seeing as for me, I started this for fun, for my love of makeup, my love for creativity, my love for art, my love for colors. That's why I started. And I assume most of these other, you know, beauty influencers and artists started for the same reasons. Like, I don't know anybody, and a lot of people probably wouldn't admit if they did, who started because, oh, I'm going to do this just to get some money. I honestly don't know anybody like that. And if I did, I don't know anybody who would actually admit to it. I mean, obviously, anyone would want to check, especially doing something they love. But personally, I can't relate. Not to go and charge crazy amounts of money, especially for an indie brand, especially for up and coming brands, especially for somebody who's done for you. Like I just can't see myself being that person. Loyalty is important to me, you know? So like if you scratch my back, I'm scratching yours twice. You get what I mean? It's just totally unrealistic for me. I'm just setting it with this Laura Mercier powder. And to think that people not only try to charge for that, have threatened to, you know, say nasty things about her brand is even worse. I don't understand how you sleep at night knowing you're being nasty to people. No, I don't know her. I don't know the situation. I just know this is her story. This is her truth. And if somebody really put her through things like that, that's nasty. There's been tons of shady things going on in the beauty community for a long time now between lack of shade ranges, between only sending certain people certain things because you know they'll say something nice about you or stop sending people stuff because they said something that you didn't fully agree with. If you trust in your brand and in your products and you have faith in yourself and in your business, why not send it to whoever? And take that constructive criticism and be like, you know, here's where we can do better. Don't just brush it off and be like, well, I guess we won't send them stuff anymore, you know? That's as a brand and as an influencer, I wouldn't even address it in that way. It's like, let me see if I love it. This is my truth. And if you can't handle my truth and don't want my truth, then we don't have to do this. But just know I'm gonna be 100 all day. Nor would I be nasty for no reason. Like that's, like that's not okay, that's not nice. Especially for a brand like Makeup Geek where you know they have quality. You want stuff that's made local. You want stuff that's good quality. I'm gonna go on with this Dream Street palette. And I'm gonna take this transition shade. I just feel like I feel bad for her. I understand her struggle. I have noticed the silence in Makeup Geek and you know them as a whole. I didn't realize it. I don't put thought into things, but I can understand why she would fall back a little. And I know there's some people on the internet who just say she's doing it for views, she's doing it for that, she's doing it for that, you know what I mean? You don't know her truth, so how can you judge her? Or is it even post all about it without coming to her and be like, what happened? Can we talk? Let's figure it out. But instead you're just posting and judging. I'm all about giving people the benefit of the doubt and wanting to know more about people and their experiences. But a lot of people don't want to hear it. 
when we see all kind of crazy shady stuff in front of our faces every day so people are going to tell her that she's wrong when we see things like that with our own eyes every day there's plenty of youtubers who you see post things and everything is nice and everything is amazing and everything is so sweet and we love this that and the third you gonna tell me there's not one or two things that you don't like you gonna tell me that you're not being paid off we see this stuff blatantly done every day or when people don't disclose when something is sponsored and it's clearly sponsored how can you say that that's not true what she's saying how can you say that that's not factual things going on she didn't say it was for everybody she didn't say specific names she's telling her truth from her side and things she's dealing with there's plenty of people who are still very real and open and honest about things on youtube who have large followings there's tons of people like that but then there's a good chunk who are not it's crazy when you've grown to love certain people and certain influences and you start to see shade in those people. We're in a community that is based off expressing ourselves and expressing our art and our love for art, yet everybody is playing mean girls like you can't sit with us. Not everybody, most people. I have to keep saying that. It's a what can you do for me, not how can we help each other world. And I don't like that. I'm all about being in a how can we help each other? How can we build each other? How can we empower each other? And if you're not like that, then keep it moving. Like, if we can't help each other grow and it's a one-sided friendship or relationship, that's how I go for everything in life. Let alone in a vain community where I don't know a lot of these people personally. <sighs> I have a strong but small core group of girls right now who are on YouTube and are all for supporting each other and helping each other and building each other up. And you know, I'm blessed to have that. I feel bad for people who don't have that or the people that do have a big following and people wanna just get to know them and be part of their circle just because they can get things out of them. I'm sure for them being in bigger, you know, spots in the spotlight it's harder for them to even know loyalty and trust people with all the craziness we have going on it's clear that that's an issue but if we can't be real and loyal to ourselves we can't be with anybody and the other thing is like you have to look a certain way you have to be a certain age to be known to be relevant and that's not true either at the end of the day this is self-expression with art we are artists expressing ourselves at the end of the day it's not like, oh, she looks younger. Oh, she's had more surgery or anything like that. That's not what this is built off of. That's an ego-driven, self-centered community. And not everybody is like that, but a lot of people are. And I'm not saying I'm against plastic surgery or you know looking how you wanna look. I'm just saying these are things that drive certain behaviors. Your follower count, how you look, how you dress. I smoked that out. Now I'm gonna go in with pop culture. Oh, that came up really easy. Oops. And I'm just gonna go all over the lid. I just feel like at this point in the community, we need to build each other up and love each other and help each other grow just as much as we're loving on these indie brands. If you think about it, this is the one community on YouTube that people love to trash. Like, oh, the beauty community, oh, this and that. They act like we're dumb and we don't have any sense and, you know, we have peanuts for brain when that's not the case. Clearly, people know what they're doing in this community to be getting the attention that they're getting. You know what I'm saying? But it's the one community that gets all the slack and then they always want to fight. So they give people reasons to talk about them in their community. I know there's people who believe in, well, you know, whether it's negative or positive, any attention is good. You shouldn't live your life that way. You shouldn't want negative attention. You shouldn't want negative people in your circle. My biggest reason for this video is really to say, don't ever let anyone tell you that your truth doesn't count or it's not important because everybody's voice counts. Everybody's opinion should always be you know, taken into consideration no matter what end you're on, no matter how much money you have, no matter what you look like. Don't ever allow anyone to treat you a certain way just because how many followers you have or how much money you have or don't have. And in that same breath, don't entertain people so they think they have a reason to talk to you. If it's negative, cut it off. Don't even entertain people like that. 
Next, I'm going in with black light. I just want everyone to grow, you know? I want everyone to be positive. I want everyone to be supportive of each other. It doesn't have to be a competition. Everybody can be great. Oh my God, I love this color. I actually forgot how much I love this color. So I think one of the most important things from this to take away is, one, don't ever let anybody check you on what your truth is. You know your truth. And two, love each other, spread positivity, share each other's videos. Lastly, I'm going in with Phantom. And I wet my brush a little for this. Johnny, oh, no, I didn't even need to. Forgot how shiny and pretty this color is. I'm actually gonna take that color and smoke it in the bottom. Oh my God, I got so excited about that. I forgot to put concealer or anything on my face. I'm just gonna do something light. So comment below, have you watched Marlena's video? What do you think about her opinion? What are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on her video and the things she said? I appreciate her not being negative and calling out anybody. Cause that's not what her video was about, clearly. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the same, oh, there's your hair. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the same brush and take Phantom and put it on the bottom, on the inside. And then I'm gonna go in with black light and put it on the ends and the bottom. I always like to hear what other people have to say about things. I don't like, it's not that I like to debate with people. I like to hear all opinions and all sides. I'm gonna bronze with this L'Oreal Super Old Glam Bronze Bronzer in light pale. Aside from beauty guru drama, like people fighting with each other and things like that, what are your thoughts on the beauty community? Personally, I think we're a pretty awesome place. I feel like with all the different communities there are on YouTube, we're one of the most creative, easily. Proof is in all these boyfriend does my makeup when the guys can't compete with our makeup skills at all, even for a minute. I'm gonna go in with this Pacifica blush. It's called Coconut Blush. I got it in an Ipsy bag, I think. I'm gonna go in with this. Yes, I'm using the same brush that I just bronzed with. Does anyone else put a little bit of blush on their nose? I like it, it's like rosy. <laughs> For highlight, I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighter in this purpley shade. It's called Lilac to Reality. I've never used it, but I feel like with the super purple look, it works. Well, I have used it, I'm lying. What I mean is I don't use it often. I'm gonna go in with this little brush and grab here. I just made like a huge Wet n Wild order. I'll tell my husband. But I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. Oh, that is way too much. I love wearing wild highlighters. Still not into this Dross Cosmetics spray. I'm gonna go in with this Color Pop, <laughs> this Color Pop Ultra Glossy Lip in no. Oh, nonsense. I thought I said no nonsense. Ew, why does it smell like that? Mascara. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was a little bit of an eye opener to some people about our community and what they think we are compared to what we really are. I want to say a big thank you to Marlena for speaking her truth and putting out that video and staying positive in it without exposing anyone or putting any type of negativity in it and just speaking her truth. Again, the Makeup Geek shadows I used today were Pop Culture, Backlight, and Phantom. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless.